What's going on guys? Ike bought a Yerf Dog off-road go-kart for $100 and this week we're going to get it running. Yerf Dog! <laughs> from a buddy of mine named Alan. Um, he hooked me up. Thank you, Alan. It hadn't run in years. Um, it has a Tecumseh. Uh, I think it's a six or six and a half horse engine on it um, with a torque converter. The same shocks we used on the Murray, same shocks that we have on Pugly. It looks pretty close. Yeah, they're like 25 bucks to go power sports, so cheap. Uh, and they're adjustable. It's got a horn on it that's not hooked up because there's no battery on it. But yeah, I mean, uh, there's not a whole lot of rust. She needs some TLC. Yeah, a little bit but of TLC. But she's going to get it tonight. This go-kart is pure luxury. It's not automatic start, but that could be fixed. It does have a the cushiest seat of any go-kart I've ever sat in, and it, it is adjustable. Nice. So it's on track so you can move it forwards and backwards. So what are we going to start with? Air up the tires, man. I'm tired of looking at them flat. Yeah. You haven't even touched this one, right? No. That's got air in it. Yeah, that's awesome. So, this one does not. So, I guess, do we know if the brakes work? Oh, uh, the brakes, I believe, work. Seriously? Yeah. Here, hop in real quick. Wow. The brakes work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, literally, all motor uh, is all we have to work on. Uh, That's what it looks like, all motor. So, Ike made a good point. We've got a 212 just lurking under there that would go in and we'd have this thing running in, uh, well, it depends on the size of the sprocket and it's not a 35, I don't know, it's probably a 420 or something. So we could have this thing running in like probably 12 minutes, if that, um, but we're gonna see if we can uh i want to see if this tercumpsy will run yeah i don't know anything about this engine it could be total garbage don't know um we have starting fluid we can crank it and see if it runs on starting fluid yeah let's do that rather than wasting our time with the carburetor if she got a rod knock i ain't messing with it yeah what you doing bud i'm drilling out these rivets so we can use this uh starter on our engine Really? You got it? Working on it. Did I just squirt you? You might have. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate some of these suspension components. Uh, it won't really affect the ride, but uh, it will make it that much quieter because she's a little squeaky right now. That is so much better. That's clean enough for testing purposes, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a Actually, it looks oil pretty clean. It. Real clean. It'll change when we run it. Um, oil, after it sits a long time, the, all the garbage will sink, sink to, the, to bottom. the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So that might be this case. It might not be. It might just be pristine oil. Let's see what happens. I didn't hear anything wrong. No, neither did I. So, I mean, we could always put gas, clean the bowl, put some gas in it, and run. See what happens. See what happens. Yeah. Ike is currently in a meeting in the Oval Office. So I'm gonna drop the uh, the fuel bowl. How's it going in there, bud? You're dying. It's so bad. 
Really? Yeah. I'm sorry. Ooh. I wonder what did it. Might have been that Reuben. Four bottles of apple juice might do it, man. Hey, I just dropped the uh, fuel bowl. There's no like built up chunks in it, so that's good. Talk to me or video? Whoever's listening. All right, so the bowl's off. I'm gonna put some fuel in the tank. Um, then we're just gonna play around with it and see if we can get fuel to fill up in the bowl. Man, it almost acts like out of town. Really? Because yeah. it's blown out so much? Yeah, on the inside, like the key. Kill switch works. That's awesome. Man, man, I, I don't, I don't get it. It runs so nice. It well, idles a little funny. It's idling funny. It could just take some running it and yeah. the thing would be all right. Well, you want to throw the air filter back on? And, uh, yes, sir. Go for a ride? Yes, sir. Cool. At night. At night. And how long do you think this cart was sitting for? I think he told me it had been sitting for several years. Seriously? Yeah. Literally all we did was put air in the tires, clean out the bowl, lubricated the suspension, and so the chain. Far. So far. So far. Yeah. And we're about to go for a ride. <laughs> You're dumb! Jeez. I'm gonna try to film with this camera. Okay. Because it is supposedly the best in low light. Okay. So. You didn't close the door. No, here. Oh, it's so dark. That's better. I'm trying to break. Hey, the brake works. Yeah. It's gonna be wet down here. These are not grippy tires. It's too late now. Just staring, man. the logs, man. Yeah, that's not too bad, bud. Nah, man. Uh, I work on that idle. Hopefully, the more I run it, hopefully, the more I run it, the better it'll run. Yeah. Pretty freaking cool. I like the uh, the night shots with this thing. It's not very steady, but it uh, there's a lot of light. Um, didn't think the Earth Dog did too bad. It's kind of wet back there, but I can't even tell honestly. It's so dark. Well, what do you think? Um, that's not bad, dude. Uh, did you see me go over those logs? Uh, I couldn't really tell how big the logs were. They were big. And this thing just leaped over them. It was awesome. Cool. Yeah. Can't wait to give it a shot tomorrow. Yeah, man. Out by the train tracks, do some exploring. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. You know it would be even cooler? What? If we had a rack for mounting the mini bike on the back of this thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of exploring. I know a place right down the railroad tracks, and we're just going to cruise along and see how far we can get before we get stuck. 
We're out here at Dirt Chickens. It's another very gorgeous North Carolina day. You really think it's like 45 right now? I said 43. You 43? Said 43. All right. I mean, it just seems kind of a... Uh, yeah, in the sun. Wait until we get going on this park. It's so nice in the sun. You putting a... Uh, fix a flat. Fix a flat. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was checking it. Man, that's why you never accept. Ah. Fix the flat from the parts store for free. <laughs> You're just gonna glue a bunch of twigs to your foot. All right, man, hold the camera. I'm gonna drift this puppy. I'm gonna right. drift this big gal. All right. John thinks he's going to drift the cart. Let's see if he can do it. <laughs> Not a very good job. He ain't cutting her no slack, but she's still got the governor in her. <laughs> this thing is slow. Yeah, it is. You can kind of swing it around at that other turn. Yeah. But, yeah. You want to hop in? Yeah, we're going for a ride? Yeah. Well, you ain't going to try swinging around with me in it, are you? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, there's a hole here. A hole? Well. I would have gone through that field because there's an opening down there. You should have told me like five feet ago. I thought you knew it. Push me back, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> we almost died, bro. <laughs> that would have been bad. Let's hop down there. What do you want to hop down there for? Oh, I don't know. Just to see you can drive for a while. I can drive for a while. Yeah. I'm gonna enter it through there somewhere. Okay, Alright, well, you through. want this? Sure, yeah. That looks like a mess. Huh? That looks like it could get very painful very fast. There's thorns here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's all thorns, man. Oh. Wow. Horsepower. Yo! You did it! Yes! Hey! Hey! Good job, bud. So what's the what's the goal? Just kind of explore the train track? Pretty much. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, is this gonna be a nice jump? Oh, that's a nice oh. jump, dude. Let's go for it. All right, let's jump it. 
It's it's gonna not it's not gonna be fast enough. Free pump. We'll try. All right. Jump it, baby. Jump it. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh, oh. It wasn't fast enough. This looks interesting. It does look interesting. Do we know whose property this is? Okay. Uh, so. For the record, guys, we know who owns this property. So don't trespass in real life or ever. Floors are solid. Yeah, nothing wrong with This is depressing, dude. Is it? Yeah. I like going through stuff like this. Well, I mean, it's depressing to think that someone might have slept there recently. Beautiful hardwood floors. Yeah. Not much to see here. No. But it was interesting. I've always wanted to come in here and check it out. Yep. I've known about this place for a long time. Nice carport. Yeah, I was thinking this is a very roomy, nice carport. What's left of it? Humans are disgusting, man. Just like, yeah. look at all this trash. Yeah. What are these things called? What are what things called? These spiky things. Oh god, I hate those. Do I have them on me? They're aliens. They kind of look like aliens. Mm. Your dog. Really? We lost our puller. It's all right, I'll, I'll get her. Okay. Great check. Stop real nice. Stop real good. We're gonna see how far each one of us can get a, get some air. <laughs> we my go. I don't want to hurt my back any more than I did yesterday. Oh, was it bad? Uh, it was all right. I just messed it up yesterday too. Oh, how'd you mess up your back? Yesterday? Didn't we try to jump something yesterday? Lawnmower? I don't know. Something. Too slow to do anything cool. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. He just hit his head. Are you good? You just whacked your noggin, boy. Are you all right? Oh God, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, you just smacked the crap out of your head. Oh yeah. I hope I don't need stitches. It looked cool. Wear helmets. Oh, God. It's not bloody. Okay. Not yet. Because I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I got a concussion. Your dog. Uh, goose egg there. It's still hurting. Oh, yeah. Right there. I forgot. Sorry, bud. Helmets. Yeah. Helmets. Would help. They're in the truck. Really? I didn't think we'd be jumping this thing, man. I thought we were going for a drive. Like that? I mean, sure. That makes it feel better. Wasn't even that much. Maybe the front popped up that much. Hey, I didn't get to try any drifting. Alright, you gonna try to drift it? Yeah. You got it. We're gonna benchmark the go-kart's current performance with a quick lap. 
basically Ike's just going to do one lap around this circle. And then when we make modifications to it, we're going to do another lap and see how much faster it is. Where's the starting line? Right here. Right here? Right here. So we got to do that hairpin and everything? Yeah, you got to do the hairpin and everything. Okay. You good? Yeah, all right. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. <laughs> it's so slow. It's so slow. Twenty-one forty-eight. So that's all we got for this episode, guys. Um, I think it needs the sprocket treatment, smaller sprocket. I think it needs the the free mods that we do to it. Header, carb jet intake, uh, governor delete and then see where we're at as far as you know if we're happy with the performance if we're not then we can slap something else on it 212 420 maybe something different because we've done 212 and 420 over and over again diesel <laughs> could do diesel that is an option roll coal with a go-kart oh man i would love that <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, what do you think of the Yerf dog? Let us know what you think we should do to it. Like I said, I think the free treatment is in order. Uh, we gotta thank Go Power Sports. Um, they make all kinds of parts for this that I'm sure we're gonna be using in the near future. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check him out on YouTube at Isaac, it'll be fine. Got anything else? No, no, that's it. Cool, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.